this crested celosia, or what most people call coxcomb, is just a perfect dried flower. It's strong, it's steady, it's got nice stems, and that rich, rich red color of this one really holds up well and keeps its color through the winter. Tie them together, hang them upside down in the ceiling of a garage or the attic, somewhere where it's dark, but it's also hot with a little air circulation, and they'll dry quickly. In a matter of a couple of weeks, they'll be wonderfully preserved uh, to last the whole winter. Several of the qualities we look for in a dried flower is one is stem length. The longer stem is better because whether I'm going to glue it to a wreath or use it in a bundle or even try to make dried potpourri out of it or whatever, I can always cut the stem later. So we look for varieties with long stems, much like this blue emotion, blue salvia. We want to cut it really at the peak of bloom and try to preserve it there. So we might leave the foliage on, we might take some of it off, it really won't matter. What we're after is this stem. And what's nice about this particular blue salvia is the color is light fast. In other words, many flowers over time, even if they're properly dried, the colors fade in the light. And this one holds it right on through the winter so you'll get a good full year of a full color enjoyment. The way to dry this is to pick them at the ideal stage of maturity, which is full open. And then what we want to do is hang them upside down in a warm, dry, dark place. Blue salvia also come in a blue and white flower that could be mixed in and dried as well. Another good dried flower for Kansas are these gomfrina, this rose color here. Dry exceptionally well, they're real papery like a straw flower would be, but small round button type. They make an excellent filler. And again, we'd hang them up, attic of a garage, up by the roof in that dark, hot place with a little bit of air circulation to dry them out quickly. Another thing about these is they do hold their color real well against the light. So we want to be careful, not just any flower does dry well because of that property. This is the prairie flower, the native prairie flower, Echinacea. What's unique about this one is we could use the flower, and we could hang that up to dry, but also the cone is prized. If we take the older ones, where the petals are already started to fade some, some like this in here, and we cut them back. But on these, we would remove the petals. It seems odd on a flower, but we're left with this wonderful cone that's a whole different texture, shape, form. It just gives us the wonderful variety and contrast in a mixed bouquet or in any arts or crafts work we're doing. It, it's an entirely different thing. So the echinacea is really great to have in the garden because it has all these different purposes from the great color when it's in bloom to the dried flower to the dried cones. It's really nice. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.